Hi, Joe Saunders from Miniature Landscape Hobbies here. Just doing a quick unboxing. I was really happy to get this box at my door today. And, uh, well, I know exactly what's in it. It's kind of a target of opportunity. So one of those things that happens when you're into uh, Napoleonic Wargaming in particular, at least in Canada, is it's pretty hard to find some of the supplies and some of the specific models. Now, if you're looking for plastics, you got options. You can head over to one of my sponsors, like uh, Event Horizon Hobbies, and you can get all your core troops there, no problem. But finding specific personalities or officers can be kind of hard. So I was pretty excited while cruising around the internet the other day to find a Canadian supplier that had some pretty specific models that I wanted to add to my collection. I didn't hesitate, went ahead and ordered because sometimes you just gotta strike while the iron's hot. Let's take a look to see what's in here and hopefully we'll be able to cover the, the uh, painting process of these specific models in an upcoming video. And here we go. Warlord Marshal Ney and a French Brigade officer. Pretty happy about that. I uh, always wanted to get the uh, Warlord version of Marshal Ney. I think the model's pretty expressive. Can hardly wait to paint it. And of course, Marshal Ney is a pretty significant historical character from the Napoleonic period. If I remember my history correctly, which could be wrong, I think he was the Marshal that ordered his own execution. That's pretty badass. Naturally, somebody that behaves like that you want their model. Now we've got some parries. This is the man himself, Napoleon and his mounted staff, including his Mameluke uh, servant. So that should be a really good way to add some color. And of course, I just like painting historical characters. So that will be a fun one. As always, as with uh, parry models, the quality will be excellent. A little more here, moving along. And uh, this should be Warlord. Doesn't say, that's Warlord. Uh, mounted Infantry Officers. So these are British. This is primarily for Mitchell's army. Uh, I do really like painting the characters. And uh, so we'll be handling those as well. Plus I gotta do some red coats in the future. And then the final box, French Infantry Colonels, Warlord models again. Talked a little bit in um, some of my previous videos that uh, the Warlord style models are more caricature. They've got slightly exaggerated faces, but uh, that makes them fun to paint. Whereas the Perry models are generally more true scale in nature, as in their facial details and certain aspects of the models aren't exaggerated as much. Neither bugs me. I just enjoy painting models for uh, the sake of painting models. So there we have it. You'll have some uh, detail, uh, some more videos on this coming up in the future where I paint some more Napoleonic character models. I can hardly wait to get down to business. For now, that's everything I got for you. We'll be back next week with more miniature building, diorama, and painting content. See you then. I'd like to take a quick moment to thank my Patreon supporters. Without their assistance, Miniature Landscape Hobbies would not be possible. If you would like to learn more about the benefits of becoming a Patreon supporter, please check the link in the video description. That's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making it. Please remember to subscribe, press the bell button so you get immediate notification on our videos, and until next time, remember to keep building life in miniature.